Hello Scorpio, welcome to another love reading. This one will be all about your person, the person you're thinking about or connecting with, and how your energies are between you, what's going on, and also where all of this is headed in the near future. Keep in mind that these readings are general, so they cannot and will not resonate with every Scorpio watching. So take what resonates for you, what applies to you. Not every Scorpio reading will resonate. All right, so let's jump right in for Scorpio. For angels, guides, messages, please. For Scorpio. For Scorpio spirit. What do they need to know about the person they are thinking about connecting with at this time? What does Scorpio need to know? What does Scorpio need to know about this person that they're thinking about or connecting with at this time? What does Scorpio need to know? What does Scorpio need to know? For the month of June. Okay, let's see. Overall energies between you, Seven of Wands and the Star, Aquarius energy. On your side, we have the Five of Pentacles and the Hierophant, Taurus energy there. On their side, we have the Knight of Swords and the King of Cups. Okay, what to expect next? And overall energy at the bottom of the deck is the Nine of Cups. Okay, so with the Nine of Cups and the Star, I'm instantly thinking about a wish, a desire that at least one of you has, because this is both of your energies here. The Star is a card about hope, faith, renewal, healing. Um, the Seven of Wands is here. So I I'm getting some sort of resistance. Like maybe someone needs to fight against some sort of challenge or obstacle because the seven of wands is a card about standing firm, fighting back, holding your ground, defending yourself. So maybe this is someone needing to fight for a wish, a desire that they have. We'll see. Can I get some insight please for Scorpio spirit? Scorpio, you could be dealing with a Taurus, an Aquarius, or a water sign. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. It does not have to be, but those are just the signs that happen to show up so far. Your person has something to say with the Knight of Swords. Spirit, so what are the energies between Scorpio and this other person? What are the energies? Looking inward. Reflection, solitude, planning. Take some time to look inward and figure out your next steps. This is from my Stellar Energy Oracle. Closed off. Okay, so yeah, um, one of you is closed off from the other, um, withdrawn, thinking by on their own, thinking, um, thinking about things like in the dark. Burning passion is here. So I feel like someone's drawn to something, attracted to something, feeling passionate, but they're closed off about it at the same time. Bottom of the deck, we have taking action. So yeah, it's almost like someone's really driven to make something happen here, but they just haven't. Okay, let's see. Let's get some insight here for Scorpio. Oops. For Scorpio. Let's start with this Nine of Cups. What's this desire, this wish about? Spirit, what is this Nine of Cups about for Scorpio? Why is the Nine of Cups here? The Tower, what? Wishing for a tower, that's unique. <laughs> What's this Nine of Cups about? Maybe a tower will grant someone their wish here. Tell me about the Nine of Cups. Something shocking, unexpected. Yeah, Nine of Cups again. There's the Knight of Cups. So I feel like someone is waiting for an unexpected message or an unexpected apology, a surprising apology. It's like, it's like um, someone who knows this is a rare possibility, this Knight of Cups, but this surprise would be amazing, right? Like they would love to be surprised with this Knight of Cups. 
it's almost like they want to know that a tower has taken place perhaps or the actual message would be sudden unexpected and shocking tell me about this star and this could be you or your person because both of your energies are here Tell me about this star, please. Two of Wands. So a choice here, a decision of two paths. Tell me about this star, please. Why is the star here? Ten of Swords. Interesting. Healing, some sort of ending, um, a difficult... Again, the star with the Ten of Swords is reminding me of this tower and this nine of cups because again the star could be like a wish a desire i feel like someone is hoping for an ending or desiring an ending let me know if that's that resonates for you but i feel like this ending is opening a door two of wands you know it's allowing someone to choose from two different paths here uh the ten of pentacles is at the bottom of the deck so this path could lead to something stable long term it's very strange. Tell me about the Seven of Wands. Why is the Seven of Wands here, Spirit? Why is the Seven of Wands? Eight of Wands. Communication, action. Tell me about the Seven of Wands. Why is the Seven of Wands here? Ten of Cups. Another ten. And there's Strength. Courage. Leo Energy. This is going to be a very specific reading. I can already tell because I feel like someone is fighting for their happiness, their Ten of Cups. But they're they're doing they're fighting for this happy ending in a way that most wouldn't it, it's almost like they're they're standing firm being brave because to get their happy ending they have to deal with a tower or a difficult ending again i get that in um it could be that one of you's manifesting this what's this the fool and the seven of pentacles so someone's having doubts here about this new beginning this risk that they're taking, there's anxiety over a successful outcome. Will all of my hard work pay off? Bottom of the deck is the Eight of Cups. So maybe someone needs to walk away from something. So I feel like someone needs to have a tower to truly get what they want. It's very strange. Let's look at your energies here separately. Spirit, tell me about Scorpio and this other person. Tell me about Scorpio and this other person. Tell me about Scorpio's energy. Tell me about Scorpio's energy, please. Poverty. So you have the Five of Pentacles and the Poverty card. So you've experienced some sort of loss or difficulty. You might be having financial difficulty. I feel like you're missing something in your life. Maybe you've experienced a loss that you haven't really recovered from. Tell me about the person that Scorpio is dealing with, Spirit. What do we need to know? What do we need to know about their energies? Sudden wealth. So this card is kind of like the Wheel of Fortune. Let me look at that. I want to look at the book. Do I have the book here? Yeah. Number 11, this is like a surprising uh, lucky thing. Success, gain or profit, lottery winnings, a bonus, found money. Hmm. It's like you, you know, you, you've hit the jackpot unexpectedly. An unexpected gain, right? Like something that it's like your person wants something 
that is unexpected. It's almost like to, to win or to achieve their goal, it would be a very lucky thing, right? It's not a sure thing. It's a, it would be a lucky thing, if that makes sense. Let's get some more. What else do we need to know, Spirit? What else do we need to know about these energies between Scorpio and this other person? Tell me about Scorpio, please, Spirit. Tell me about Scorpio, please. What do I need to know? I hid who I really am from you. So Scorpio, this could be, you know, by the way, I have you on the left and your person on the right. You can flip the energies if they resonate more. This could be what your person is telling you, Scorpio, or perhaps you have hidden your feelings from this other person. Tell me about the person Scorpio is dealing with. What do we need to know about this other individual spirit? I hide behind material things. You're both hiding from the other. <laughs> or just hiding what you truly feel here. It's at the bottom of the deck. I know that I crossed the line with you. Okay. Interesting. Let's get some clarity on both of your energies here. Tell me about the Five of Pentacles. Why is the Five of Pentacles here? The lovers, Gemini energy. I feel like you miss your partner. You miss your person. Maybe you miss the person you feel is your soulmate. You've lost this, I feel. Tell me about the five of pentacles. The fool. Yeah, I think you're, you've been kind of um, waiting to begin. Hasn't actually happened, but this is what you want. Seven of wands, nine of pentacles, and the sun. Yeah, I feel like um, some of you want independence, freedom. Some of you want to be able to um, approach or um, a new beginning. So it's like some of you wish you had that chance of a new beginning, a new start, um, that you were able to take a leap of faith or start something new here. Why is the Hierophant here? Typically, this is a card about doing the right thing, traditional values commitments, contracts. Why is the higher font here? Justice, Libra energy, seven of swords. Hmm. Seven of swords and the higher font are like complete opposites. So this is interesting. Three of wands at the bottom of the deck. It's like waiting for a result, waiting for something to happen. And then the seven of pentacles after that. I feel like you're waiting for something. It's like the justice card with the higher font is about doing the right thing. But the seven of swords does not typically do the right thing. So there's like, you know, a, a conflict here. Maybe this is someone, you've been someone that has always done what is right, what is expected. Maybe this symbolizes a marriage of some sort. And the seven of swords is almost like hiding something sneaking off, doing something you really shouldn't be doing. So Scorpio, for some reason here, you are being a seven of swords, or it feels like what you're doing is not exactly the right thing to be doing. This could also be how you view your person. Tell me more about the Hierophant, please. Why is the higher font here? Ten of Pentacles. Some of you, this is a marriage or a long-term commitment. Maybe one of you is already with someone and so this shouldn't be happening or there's something off about your existing connection. That's not to say that you don't have a strong connection with this person, but I feel like there's something in the way. That's why this tower is necessary. So let's look at the, your person here. Why is the Knight of Swords here? Why is the Knight of Swords here? 
the Queen of Pentacles. Why is the Knight of Swords here? Four of Pentacles. Why is the Knight of Swords here? Five of Wands. There's the Five of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. It's almost like they want to tell you about their situation. Maybe they're going through a difficult situation. Three of Pentacles, Five of Pentacles. What's here? Yep, Eight of Swords. So your person could be talking about whatever stands in the way, whatever obstacle this is with the Five of Wands, whatever conflict they're going through. I feel like they've held back a lot here with the Four of Pentacles and maybe they're finally opening up, speaking up here. This Queen of Pentacles could be that they're in with someone else or you're with someone else and they want to talk about this. Why is the King of Cups here? Why is the King of Cups here? Seven of Wands again. Why is the King of Cups here? I feel like if, if your person is the one that has to stand firm, be brave, um, fight for what they want, it's because of love, because of how they feel here. Five of Swords. I'm telling you, there's like a... Um, a situation here there's the six of wands it's almost like you have to play dirty to win you have to play dirty to get what you want you have to fight against some sort of adversary or i don't know because you this five of swords reminded me of the seven of swords it's like you're required to play dirty here i mean some of you it could also be that you know i don't want to I, I just see this as a possibility. It doesn't necessarily mean that this is exactly what's happening. But with the, the Five of Swords and the Seven of Swords is a card of deception. This is someone that would take advantage of a situation but not be completely forthcoming. So I really hope that this isn't someone that's making you promises that they can't keep, right? Whoever is telling you that they're going to fight against this obstacle, stand firm, be brave. Maybe that's just something that they're saying. Obviously, that will be something that you're going to have to determine if that's your situation. Because I feel like there's a waiting energy here. Like someone's been waiting for things to take off here. So what can you expect next? Let's see. Ace of Swords. Okay, so the same thing with that communication energy. The Knight of Pentacles. Okay. Wow, and the High Priestess. Okay. Okay, with the High Priestess, with the Ace of Swords, I instantly think like opening up clearing things up, speaking something that hasn't been spoken before. But also the High Priestess could be secrets. Tell me about the High Priestess. Why is the High Priestess here? Three of Wands, waiting again, waiting for a result. Tell me about the High Priestess, please. Knight of Wands, waiting to take action. The Hierophant again, Taurus energy. So I feel like someone could be planning in secret what action they're going to take there and isn't really communicating it. So let's see why the Ace of Swords is here. So what's this Ace of Swords about? Six of Swords here. Six of Wands. Victory. Why is Ace of Swords here? Four of Swords. Okay. Okay. Six of Pentacles with the Knight of Pentacles. Okay, so Four of Swords, the High Priestess, that's this quiet energy I've been talking about. Uh, Four of Swords and the High Priestess, they don't really take action. They just think, reflect, listen to their intuition with the High Priestess. I feel like there's something here that someone's working behind the scenes. And I feel like they're waiting for the right time to take action. They feel like this is the best way to have victory. 
I think that this person will eventually come forward and tell you their plan. It's like they need to tell you what they're planning. But this could happen very slowly, Scorpio, with the Knight of Pentacles. Um, the slowest night of the deck. So it could be that this person is going to tell you their plan, but that doesn't necessarily mean that all of those things are going to happen within a short time frame, right? Can I get some sort of insight, please? Um, or some more insight, I should say, not sort. Some more insight into this person's thoughts, feelings towards Scorpio. What are they thinking, feeling about Scorpio spirit? Let's get a secret moon here. What are they thinking, feeling spirit about Scorpio? What are they thinking, feeling about Scorpio? I don't want to lose you. What are they thinking, feeling spirit about Scorpio? Please forgive me. I'm working on myself at the bottom of the deck. So I feel like this person, I feel like they've already been in this situation for some time, Scorpio. I think that you are well aware of what's going on, what's taking so long and what it's going to take to make this happen. I feel like that's why someone is kind of manifesting or hoping for this tower, hoping for a change, a lucky break. Um, I feel like your person, at least to their credit, I think they'll be open and honest with you about what's going on. But I would be very careful because I have a feeling that, you know, the words that you've gotten so far might not be followed with action. And I think that's exactly what this tower represents. It needs to be action. I feel like your person's going to tell you what they're planning, why it's taking so long, and to please wait a little bit longer. That'll be completely up to you. That's just what I see um, at this time. So hopefully you enjoyed this reading, Scorpio. If you did, hit that like button. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already. I would love to have you and I will see you all in another video very soon. Take care.